Baseball isn't a sport that's as physically demanding as others like hockey, football, basketball and others. That's why we see so many MLB players play well into their mid to late 30s, and quite often their 40s. A lot of them stick around for the nice big contracts and the fact most of them don't really need to stay in top shape to still be useful to their teams. This is why we see a lot of players with dad bonds filling the stat sheets and team rosters. However, there is a downside to all of this. While we sometimes get to see many players play at high level for 20 years, there are far too many MLB B players that refuse to hang up the cleats, even though the writing is on the wall. Despite a decline in their performance and a clear lack of interest in winning, many players will keep playing until teams absolutely don't want them around anymore. This is sad because it can hurt otherwise legendary players' legacies by sticking around just a little too long. 2018 could be the last season for a number of washed-up MLB veterans. Some of these guys will make the right call, others won't, and some of them probably should have retired by now. Here are 10 big-named MLB players that need to make the right call and retire. One of the most decorated second basemen to come around in the past 20 years, Chase Sudley has endured quite the career. The 39-year-old is a six-time All-Star, four-time Silver Slugger Award winner and won a World Series championship with the Philadelphia Phillies in 2008. Utley was also part of the Philly team that reached the World Series in 2009, and also won the 2017 NL pennant with the Los Angeles Dodgers. But Utley hasn't been an All-Star since 2014 and it's confusing as to why the Dodgers are keeping him around. He's now a liability on defense and batted just 236 last season, 40 points below his career average. Utley also doesn't have much power in his bat, but his ability to generate walks while rarely striking out seems to be enough for the Dodgers. Utley probably should have retired after this season, but he chose to give it another go, expecting to finally retire after this season. It's long overdue. A cornerstone piece of the San Francisco Giants dynasty that won the World Series in 2010, 2012 and 2014, Panda experienced a major decline once he chased money from the Boston Red Sox in 2014. Sandoval signed a five-year contract worth $90 million, but did next to nothing in Beantown. Sandoval only appeared in 161 games during his three years with the Red Sox, batting a ghastly 237. The Red Sox opted to release Sandoval during the 2017 season, and he later returned to the San Francisco Giants. But Sandoval has to accept that his playing days are nearing an end. He's awful defensively and doesn't have much of a bat anymore. He made his money in Boston and won all of his championships in San Francisco. After this season, it's time for Sandoval to retire, because he lost all his talents once he left the West Coast. It's tough putting Yulo on this list, because he is just 33 years of age and three years removed from his fifth All-Star selection. And though Tulowitzki has the desire to keep on playing, he soon has to look in the mirror and realize father time is undefeated. The man is getting up there in age quickly, and he simply can't stay healthy. Hamstring and ankle injuries limited Tulowitzki to just 66 games in 2017, and he's already set to miss the team's home opener with a bone spur in his right ankle. He's on the books through 2021, and the Jays are simply stacked with that miserable contract. A career 290 hitter, Tulowitzki has batted just 250 over his brief three-year tenure with the Blue Jays thus far. His defense remains steady, but he's lost plenty of power, speed and plate discipline. A couple of more injuries may mean it's time for Tulowitzki, a future Hall of Famer, to retire before his body breaks down more. One of the best relievers of this era, Francisco Rodriguez has accomplished just about everything, which is a reason why the 36-year-old needs to retire. He won a World Series championship with the Anaheim Angels in 2002, is a six-time All-Star and owns the record for most saves in a season with 62. Set in 2008, Efron turned back the clock in 2016 with the Detroit Tigers, regaining his old form with 44 saves and 52 strikeouts and 58.1 innings pitched. But he posted a woeful 7.82 ERA for the Tigers last season, appearing in just 20 games while being limited to 25.1 innings pitched. Rodriguez has lost his command and is no longer valued as a full-time closer anymore, let alone a quality setup man. It's time for this former superstar to realize that retirement is the best option, rather than get mashed by more batters. One of the most durable pitchers since breaking into the majors 16 years ago, John Lackey has to come to terms that he's no longer a reliable starter. The 39-year-old has three World Series championships, 
won a piece with the Angels, Red Sox and Chicago Cubs, and is a former All-Star. But Lackey showed his age in 2017, and it's clear that he has to think about retiring. Lackey had a strong showing for the Cubs in 2016, going 11-8 with a 3.35 era and helping them win the World Series. But he fell back to earth in 2017, going 12-12 with a 4.59 era while allowing a whopping 36 home runs. With his arm racking up the mileage and Lackey losing more and more control, it's obvious that it's time to retire. Who knows if he's ready to face the music, though. Agon has been one of the top power hitting first basemen of this generation, but the soon to be 36 year old hasn't displayed his perennial all star form since 2015. And the four time Gold Glover should feel more than fortunate that the New York Mets willingly gave him a one year contract. The Mets love overpaying fading veterans, and Gonzalez learned this. Gonzalez posted a war of minus 1.2 in 71 games for the Los Angeles Dodgers last season, a telling sign that he's on the downward. He batted just 242 which are not Gonzalez standards. Not at all. Unless 2017 was just one bad year, it's safe to imagine that Gonzalez will never be the star first baseman again. If he experiences a porous outing in 2018, it'll be more than time for the veteran to retire. Bartolo Colon is one of the most beloved players in the majors as the 44-year-old continues to find ways to stick around in the majors. The four-time All-Star and former Cy Young winner isn't just too old to be in the majors, but Colon is also not a quality starter anymore. Not even close. Colon had a respectable 15 wins and 3.48 Terra for the New York Mets in 2016, but it all came crashing down when he signed with the Atlanta Braves last year. Big Sexy went 7-14 in a season divided with the Braves and Twins, with a horrible 6.48 Terra. Do you really think a man in his mid-40s can rebound from that everyone loves Colin and would like him to keep playing, but he's not an impact pitcher anymore. So it's a wonder why the Texas Rangers signed him and are giving the man another chance when Colin should really be retiring. What's happened to New York Mets franchise star David Wright is unfortunate. His 2016 season was cut short due to a herniated disc in the neck, and he couldn't help the Mets defend their NL pennant. He missed all of 2017 to deal with a shoulder injury, which led to him getting surgery on a torn rotator cuff. There's no guarantee that Wright plays in 2018, with more back and shoulder injuries piling up on the seven-time All-Star. Throw in the injury scares with his age. 35, and you can't help but think Wright needs to hang up the cleats. Safety should always be a priority over playing. Wright's stats had taken dips considerably before the injuries, too. Shoulder, neck and back injuries are nothing to laugh at, and you can't help but hope the man puts health first and retires, unless doctors can confidently clear him to play again. If there's one current MLB star who's a lock to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, it's Albert Pujols. Ten All-Star Game appearances, two World Series championships, three NL MVP awards and six Silver Slugger awards. And how about a career? 305 batting average, 614 home runs and 2,968 career hits. Pujols is one of the greatest players in MLB history, no doubt about it. But the man has simply not been the same star for a while now and the Angels can't be happy with the fact they gave him 10 years and $254 million in 2012. Way too much. Though the 38-year-old still gets his 20-30 home runs and 100 RBI a season, Pujols isn't the superb gold glove defender at first base anymore. He's a career 305 hitter, but he hasn't come close to that in an Angels uniform. His OPS keeps going down as well, and the strikeouts go up. Pujols may have to accept that retirement is in the folds. He's not the same impact player anymore and has nothing else to play for, three championships, a lot of money and a lot for Cooperstown. A six-time All-Star who led the majors in the home runs twice, Jose Bautista will go down as one of the greatest players in Toronto Blue Jays history. But all good things must come to an end, and that's why the Jays opted not to resign the 37-year-old this offseason, after a miserable down year. Bautista, a career 250 hitter, batted just 203 in 2017, 
with 23 home runs and a franchise record 170 strikeouts in one season. Bautista has lost his power and is a major liability on defense, and really doesn't have much to offer at this point of his career. There's a reason Bautista remains unsigned. Teams don't want to invest in a player who can only provide the occasional home runs, and nothing else. It may be time for Bautista to accept that he is no longer capable of playing at a high level, and it may be wise to retire instead of going through another frustrating season.